Imagine you're building a custom dropdown, or a tab system, or a modal. You don't want to hard code every part, right? You want your users, or maybe you, later, to have control over what goes inside, while still keeping all the behavior and logic bundled. That's exactly what compound components are for. They let you split a component into smaller parts that all work together, without manually passing props all over the place. Let's understand this with a fun and real example. We'll build a toggle component with a button that shows and hides some content. But instead of writing one big file, we'll split it into small components that live inside one parent using the compound component pattern. Let's code it out. In your React project, go to the src slash components folder. Create a new file called toggle.js. Here's how our compound component structure will look. Toggle, toggle.button, toggle on. Now you see me, toggle off. Now you don't. Toggle off. Nice and clean, right? Let's build it. Open toggle.js and write this. Import React. Use state. Create context. Use context from React. Const toggle context equals create context. Function toggle. Children. Const on set on equals use state false. Const toggle equals set on prev equal prev. Return. Toggle context dot provider value in toggle. Children. Toggle context provider. Function button, const toggle equals use context toggle context. Return button on click toggle, toggle button. Function on children, const on equals use context toggle context. Return on, children null. Function off, const on equals use context toggle context. Return on, children.button equals button. Toggle.on equals on. Toggle.off equals off. Export default toggle. Let's pause here. This component uses a React context behind the scenes to manage state and share it between its subcomponents without passing props manually. Each child, like toggle.on or toggle button, knows about the toggle state through that shared context. Now let's use it in app.js. Open your app.js file and add this. To import React from React. Import toggle from slash components toggle. Function app. Return div style like 40ph1. Welcome to code with me. Toggle, toggle.button, toggle on. The toggle is on. Toggle off. The toggle is off, toggle off. Toggle div. Export default app. Now hit save and go to your browser. Visit http clash slash localhost 3000. You'll see a toggle button and text that changes when you click it. Click once, it says the toggle is on. Click again, now it shows the toggle is off. All the logic lives in the parent toggle component, and each piece is neatly handled by a dedicated child. 